In this video, I'm going to teach you how to save tons of money on solar by not getting ripped off by the door-to-door -door salesman. There's lots of people in my industry that make a massive amount of money by selling overpriced systems. And I'm going to tell you how they do it, and then I'm going to tell you alternative ways to get solar. And this video is for DIY and for people that can't install their system. If you're disabled or if you're older and you still want a solar power system, I will teach you how to do it for a lot less money. So typically how it goes down is you'll be sitting at home and someone will knock on your door and then they'll say hey we're here to talk about solar if you switch to solar you'll save all of this money and we have all of these great loans for solar systems at ridiculously low rates so typically they take your bill and they compare it to what it would cost if you had a solar power system in your area and then they'll say oh look in five or ten years you'll make all your money back or they'll try to sell you on a leased system, which is the worst one of them all. So you sign some papers and then some guys come out and they put a solar system on your roof. Little did you know that what you put on your roof is very, very expensive. And the return on investment will take much longer than if you did it other ways. And the amount of money that they overcharge for these systems is astronomical. I'm talking in the tens of thousands of dollars. And these systems are not special and typically they use the lowest price equipment that they can use. They will find the cheapest solar panels, the cheaper, cheapest microinverter, and they just throw it on your roof. And they'll put it on any roof, even if your roof needs to be replaced. They'll put a brand new system right on top of it. So when you have to replace the roof, you have to take that whole solar power system down and then rebuild your roof and then put the solar system back on and that costs a lot of money as well. Now typically if you finance it they will charge you more because they want to have that lower interest rate so they pay the banks to get that but it can cost a lot of money like five to ten thousand dollars depending on the bank and the loan. Also they will overcharge for the installation. They'll charge five or ten grand for that when it should only be a couple grand. Typically what determines the price is what they can sell you compared to the utility. If the utility is charging a lot in an area, they will up the price of the system and say, hey, you'll still come out ahead over this much time. Especially in places like California where the electricity is very expensive. It is so easy for an overpriced system to beat the utility there. Now, if you do not finance it and you get a lease agreement instead, that's even worse. That means that it's not even your solar power system, but it's connected to your roof. And I've heard horror stories of when you're trying to sell your home, people will qualify for buying the house, but they will not qualify for the lease agreement for the solar. So typically they'll have to pay to take the system down and then you get double screwed and sometimes you'll lose money from those agreements. It's awful and there's lots of videos talking about all of these scams. So what should you actually do? First off, ignore the door knockers or get quotes from them but they're very annoying. They will go on and on trying to sell you. They use all their salesman tactics that they read in their self-help books, and it takes a lot of time. They'll just keep yapping away at your door, or, or they'll try to go into your house, and it's very annoying. Personally, I just completely ignore them, or I tell them to go away, but I used to try to get quotes from them just to compare and see what the market's like, and I've never seen one give a good price. Typically, they're about double what it would cost for you to install it with a local installer. So in my opinion, they're useless. Just completely avoid them entirely. Now the first method to save money is not to go through Sunrun or those large installers that are nationwide. Find a local family that install solar and go through them and then compare the quotes. This is the easiest way to find someone that can supply the hardware and the permitting and everything else. And the cheapest way is to buy your own hardware. There are packages online with the racking, the solar panels, the grid tops, in the hybrid inverters all in one and what you do is you buy it and then they will ship it to your house and then you find someone that can install it and you can find companies that will make bids on installing that and permitting it but unfortunately if you call up these local installers and you say hey I've got my own hardware how much would it cost in labor can you give me a bid on this job they will they will almost laugh in your face and they will say absolutely not we only install stuff with our own hardware because that's how they make their money. They'll buy the cheapest stuff in the largest quantity that they can and then they'll sell it for an overpriced amount. 
Also, it's more work to permit it if it's not equipment that they're used to. If they're buying the cheapest solar panels on the market at large volume, they get used to designing systems with that. So most of them, I would say 95% of installers will not take on your job or even give you a bid. But if you live in a large city, I would recommend keep calling because there's always some family owned small solar installer that's totally down to do it. And they're usually not ripping people off. So I would keep calling and try to get some bids if you can. Now, my favorite method is to go onto Craigslist because there's lots of ex installers and local electricians that will do the job on there for super cheap but I'm not talking about some random guy that can do it for cheaper I'm talking about somebody that's licensed and insured and can actually do a good job and has lots of large systems under their belt because you will not believe how many professionals you can find on there that have done quality work for lots of installers a lot of these third-party installers and also solar companies they call themselves solar companies but they're just salesmen selling loans and trying to get people to sign these lease agreements but typically Typically, these companies do not last a long time and these guys that work for them hop company to company and typically once they have enough experience and they can make money on their own installing smaller systems they'll just do that instead I know plenty of guys here in Las Vegas that have amazing experience and credentials typically better than what you'll see with some of these large teams installing the nationwide systems and they charge a fraction of the price and they do a better job so my favorite method is to post in the gig section and say solar installer needed experience required. And then you vet them, you figure out what kind of systems they've installed, if they're licensed, if they're legit, who they've worked for in the past. And I think you guys will be amazed at what you will actually find. There are people on there that do amazing work that are way better than these third party installers with these young guys with no experience. But there's also bad installers as well. So you have to vet them. It is your responsibility to figure out if they can do as they say they can and if they actually have a real business and actual experience. Now typically you want to find someone that specializes in solar installation but if you can't and you're in a small city you can find a local electrician and you can ask them hey can we permit and install a system on my roof and they may or may not have experience with doing that. They might take longer but typically they'll get the job done and they'll do it legally and they'll do it at a good price but with that again you have to call around and try to get bids for jobs and they might run into problems with the racking or the panels or the string voltages or something they, if they don't have experience with that they might run into some issues but they can always find a way to do it it's not hard now typically it's very easy to find a grid tie installer but it's very hard to find a complete home backup installer so someone that has experience with battery systems typically a lot of electricians and solar installers have no clue how to install or commission or even design or size those systems so you're gonna to have to look a little harder to find someone if that's what you want installed so if you have a power pro battery in a solar 15k and you want that installed into your house with a single series string on your roof you're gonna to have to look around and say hey do you know how to install a solar if they say yeah of course I install them all the time then you found yourself someone that's amazing and you need to hold on to them but if not you're gonna to have to ask around for quite a bit. Now, if you cannot find someone to install your system and you live in a small town, for example, and you've tried all of these methods, what I would recommend is going through Tesla Solar because no matter where you live, if you put in your zip code, they'll bring people out there and they have a really good warranty and they have battery backup with the Tesla Powerwall Plus. I like the EP Cube and I love the Power Pro with the 18K from Lux Power but it's harder to find people to install those. And that's the big problem with these off-grid systems is they're typically for DIY only, but they are legal to install with the grid. And if you can find an installer that's willing to take on that project, that's the best way to do it. But currently I would say Tesla has the best prices in nationwide coverage for installation, but there are other options that are cheaper, but it's very hard to get them installed if you're not installing them yourself. If you build one 
one of my DIY systems with like a power pro battery or server rack batteries and like a Lux power or a soul art converter or even a Victron inverter, it will not cost that much. That's why these videos are so much fun and we get to build so much cool stuff because it's so cheap compared to the competition. It makes it a lot of fun building your own ground mount array that you can do in a weekend and then you run some conductors over to your house and you have an off grid system that charges your electric vehicle or your heat pumps or whatever. So you can do it on your own and I have, lo I have hundreds of videos showing you how, but if you cannot go on your roof and you want someone to do it, you have these other options. And it's better than getting ripped off by these door-to-door -door salesmen that sell overpriced systems and they rip people off. So do not go with that method. You will save so much money if you find a local installer or if you do it yourself. But yeah, I understand electricity is scary and a lot of people would rather hire a professional and get it permitted right the first time. But there are other options and you can also make an off-grid system that's permit free that's actually legal. And we've talked about that a lot with ground mount arrays, ballast arrays, and then just throwing a hybrid inverter on your wall and throwing some batteries underneath it. It's not that hard. And a lot of times you can hire an electrician to do the final step to make it legal so that you can have a critical loads panel or something else for your house. You can still do it legally with these off-grid systems without any permits, which sounds crazy, but yeah, we've covered that in great detail in many videos. So lots of options, but don't get screwed by these door-to-door -door salesmen. The prices that they have, like for like a $20,000 system, sometimes they'll charge $50,000 for it. You won't believe the prices and do not sign those lease agreements. Those are the biggest ripoff in our industry. It's ridiculous. These guys make so much much money off of these systems. It's crazy. So I hope you liked the video. I hope you learned something. If you have other methods of getting systems installed for a lower price, please leave a comment down below and I will see you in the next video. Thank you.